to pain and or hopefully change. So this was, this was based on the observation that um, if the structure of our organization has always been that the development group is kind of the bottleneck, um, and then that gets much more efficient and ceases to be kind of the bottleneck, what are the symptoms, what happens, and gosh, what can we do about it? And I don't know that we answered any of those, but we had some really great discussions about specific examples when that happened. So one of the stories that got shared was uh, a group, a development group that was running really far ahead of the customer, and that caused a lot of problems. And ultimately what they did was they cut out everything between the customer and the development team and got the customer to actually come there. Luckily, it was an internal customer. And, and there was a lot of pain and agony around that, it sounds like, because lots of folks who thought it was their job to do the translating didn't have anything to do. Um, and another example uh, was, um, what was the other example? There, there were several. It was, it was very interesting. We identified a bunch of groups that, that um, can become the next bottleneck, uh, user experience, operations, support, the customers themselves, uh, marketing, the decision makers, sales. Uh, and then we kind of mapped this little model, kind of came up, the Satir change model, the folks are interested. And we looked at it for two of the particular examples we discussed and talked about how there was the status quo, uh, the group adopted agile practices successfully and became fast, but the, through kind of the organization into chaos. And then at some point there was a transformational idea like, what if we brought the customer to us and then just worked it all out? And then ultimately things reorganized themselves and became a new status quo. Um, 